I'm a middle-aged man and I'm about to talk about Barbie. The kid's toy. For little girls. No, seriously. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Yes, this is something I never thought I would ever do in my life, but here we are. Uh, so 2020, it's been a funny year. <laughs> oh boy. And uh, here we are with uh, the girls' toy Barbie. Uh, and news has come out that uh, they are releasing uh, a new diverse range. And keeping with the election theme. Because seven and eight year old girls, they are... Oh, they can't get enough of election year. I know, I know. They're just like, Mommy, I don't know whether or not to vote for Biden or for Trumpsies. I just, I need to go through the memorandums a bit more and hear some more debates and... You know, like that. The Barbie 2020 campaign team features four diverse dolls. In roles such as candidate, campaign manager, fundraiser, and voter. Uh, well, they got all the voters, didn't they? <laughs> uh, what about disappointed YouTuber that uh, gets sued by... Okay. So, uh, yeah, this has been doing the rounds. Barbie themselves tweeting about it. It's their turn to be heard! Visit Barbie's resource hub for writing prompts, activity sheets, play ballots, and more to inspire your little ones to play out their futures as leaders. Holy shit! Get your kids indoctrinated quickly. Kids love politics. They just can't get enough of it. So what you want to do when you give your daughter a Barbie doll instead of her letting play princess or something like that or letting her play Lara Croft or you know something along those lines uh make sure she knows about the uh, political policies of the potential future leaders of the United States of America and make sure you sit down with her with her ballot sheets and that seven-year-old kid, she needs to know. She needs to know how to fill in that ballot for 11 years in the future. She needs to know that it's vitally important that in 11 years' time, she knows how to vote. Another one. It's... Oh, this election year, Barbie celebrates the limitless potential of girls everywhere to stand up for what they believe in with the Barbie campaign team career sexies. You can have uh, Cracker Barbie. You can have Black L uh, Lives Matter Barbie. You can have Lesbian Barbie. And you can have uh, Potential Latino uh, Barbie, which is great. Uh, but this is just the tip of the iceberg, folks. You know, there's, there's not really too much of video to be said here. Even though they are pushing it for little kids, you could argue that this is for collectors. I mean, after all, I am sitting behind a big bunch of Transformer toys right now. But it's this article from Forbes. <laughs> no, 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 no. That really puts the icing on the cake. Barbie will be more diverse in 2020. Of course she will, sweetheart. Look at this. Look. What is that? Trans Barbie, women in disguise. Transform. Sorry, uh, I've got the transform. Transformers, robots in disguise. Uh, so we've got um, Asian Barbie. We've got. Black Barbie, uh, we've got Bald Barbie. We've got uh, Disabled Barbie. Probably, <laughs> don't make a riot joke, as We've got, 
um, futuristic, what's that say? Dream often. Uh, we've got, uh -huh. and then we've got black exploitation uh, Barbie uh, at the back here. Uh, kids will have more diverse Barbie dolls to play with in 2020. Mattel, the makers of the popular doll, released new additions to the fashion Easter line this week, including a doll with a prosthetic limb. One that is bald. And one with a skin condition. Vitiligo. Vitiligo? Vitiligo? Mommy? Yes, darling? My Barbie doll's got spots all over it. Now there, dear. Don't be a little bigot. That's the new dermatologically challenged Barbie that I bought you. But I, but I want her to just look pretty in her. Now, now. I didn't raise no bigot, did I, darling? Mm. Now go fill out your ballot sheets. But mommy, I can't vote for eleven years. Fill out your fucking ballot sheets, bitch. Cause mama didn't raise no bigot. What is wrong with you? What is wrong? I don't know what is wrong with these people. Barbie Fashionista is the most diverse doll line, according to the company. Launched in 2015, the collection now has 176 dolls with nine body types, 35 skin tones, and 95 hairstyles does that include baldy all right all right people in glass houses sh shouldn't throw stones but i'm not i'm no young teenage 20 something year old fashionista model am i i bet i could be though oh god i better crush the runway yes i know i'm bored it's a look i could do it Mattel worked with a dermatologist to design the doll with vitiligo. As we continue to redefine what it means to be a Barbie. Or look like Barbie. Offering a doll with vitiligo. In our main doll line. Allows kids to play out even more stories. What are you talking about? They see in the world around them. I, I, I have been on, I am a middle-aged man, right? I have, I've, I've probably come across some major skin conditions like twice in my life. But, you know, this is, this is the right to be a victim. Last year, the company introduced dolls with permanent disabilities, including one with a prosthetic limb and one in a wheelchair, by working with then 12-year-old Jordan Reeves. Reeves is the co-founder of non-profit Born Just Right. You can now play out your chosen victimhood. Thanks to Mattel, and thanks to Barbie. 2020, what a year. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now. I'll be on Friday night tights if you want me. <laughs>